What's up guys, Macboy here. Um, today, I wanted to start on my Pixelmator tutorials. Uh, I know I promised you guys that I will start to do Pixelmator tutorials very soon. And I asked you guys to download this program for my website so you guys can uh, work along with the tutorials. So today is my very first tutorial of Pixelmator. Pixelmator and I'm going to start by showing you how to draw a water droplet on an image. Um, today we're going to be working with this really cool leaf that I found on the internet and we're going to draw a nice water droplet on it. Now this doesn't work with uh, faces because it can't draw tears. This is like 3D water droplets on leaves and other types of surfaces. So the very first thing you need to do is you're going to find a leaf image or any image that you want to work on and I have found this leaf image off of the internet. If you want this exact image I'll put a link for it in the description so you guys can go ahead and download it and open up in Pixelmator. So the first first thing you're gonna do, very first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna add a layer. So you can do that by going going ahead and uh, adding, clicking on the plus sign in your layers palette over here. So you just click the plus and it's gonna be named Untitled Layer 2. Uh, just double click on that and rename it to Water. Hit OK. Alright, now this is the layer where the actual bubble or the water droplet is gonna be. So select your uh, elliptical marquee tool over here in your tools and um, go inside this image so hit option on your keyboard and zoom in or you don't have to do that but just to get a better image draw a water droplet for whatever size you want it to look like so I'm gonna draw a small oval and look something like this alright and it's gonna look like that on the water droplet so the very first thing you need to do is you're gonna add a gradient to this layer so if you go select your gradient tool over here uh, take it and make sure you have a black and white gradient selected something like this in your gradients palette and just go into your water layer make sure you have your water layer selected over here and just draw a gradient right in the little oval of the circle that you drew for the water droplet so click and then click again when you're dragging the mouse to the bottom right corner something like that and you should have something like that right right there now, before you do anything, go to the blending options and change it to overlay. Alright, so it's going to mostly be gone. You can't really see much. You can see a lighter side over here and a darker side over here. Now that you've got your bubble all done and blending to overlay, you're going to add a little shadow at the bottom right corner of this uh, bubble to make it look 3D. And to do that, you're just going to add another layer and rename that to shadow and uh, go ahead and refine your selection and you can do this by going to edit and then refine selection make sure you have your um, shadow layer selected and just smooth it up a little bit to around uh, I don't know 20 21 leave it at 21 hit OK and now you're gonna fill this shadow layer with black because most shadows are black in this world <laughs> um, behind lights so I'm going to fill this with black, I'm going to go to edit, fill, oops, edit, fill, find the color black, like that, uh, change the opacity down to around 88 or 89 or 90, around there, I'm going to 89, click OK, and you should have your shadow. Now that you have that, deselect everything by hitting Command D on your keyboard, and uh, take your shadow and drag it below the water so the water shadow and then your leaf is at the bottom now you're just gonna take your move tool in your tools palette and you're gonna highlight your shadow layer and you're gonna move it around so it just goes at the bottom corner the edges of it just go to the bottom corner of the water layer so let me just show you how this looks just zoom in by hitting option scroll up and take that shadow and just drag it so you can see that water coming out drag it to around something like that to make it look like the shadow. Zoom back out and you know you can play around with it, you can do whatever you want, you know, make it move it down a little bit or just make it look how you guys like it. Alright, I'm going to zoom back in here to uh, full screen almost and I am going to select my water layer. I'm going to go up to edit and I'm going to click on load selection. So it's going to load that, it's going to select everything that is transparent in that layer, which is of course my water, and uh, select your shadow layer and hit command X, which is going to cut everything 
underneath the water. So it's going to look something like this. So there you go. As soon as you hit Command X, everything's going to be gone except the little, little, little bottom edge that you left when you move the shadow or you move the shadow layer to the right of the water. These like everything, and if you do this correctly, you should have a close image, a close image to a water droplet on the leaf, and it should look pretty 3D. Now we're almost done here. We're just gonna add a little light to this bubble, so so we can show there's like a sun on this side or there's some light showing on uh, the left side of the water droplet. So you're gonna add another layer. Let's name that the sparkle. All right put that up there then you're just gonna grab your paint tool or paintbrush tool your brush tool sorry and you're gonna select the brush that is uh, those soft kind of brushes not the one with uh, the 100% opacity edges but the ones like this the light one so I'm gonna make it really small and uh, just place a dot on the top left corner of the leaf so something like that place a dot right there and leave it so even though right now it doesn't look the perfect, doesn't look the best, um, later on it will. Just trust me. Um, go back to your move tool and um, over here in your layers, select all of them. Sorry, by hitting uh, one of them and then shift and then the other one. So sparkle, water, shadow, select all of them. And then what this will do is it will allow you to link all of these layers together. So right click and then click link layers and they're all linked now. This, what this does is if you select one layer and you move it, all of them which are linked with it are going to move also. So if you take this and you move it, you can see all of that is moving around. And if you move this little water droplet, droplet around the leaf, it really does give you a nice, nice image, nice 3D image uh, wherever you move it, even the stem. It shows you that there's a water droplet there and it just looks perfect. So go ahead and try this and um, it should really work out for you. It's a really nice tutorial of getting a water droplet on a image. And uh, once you find a comfortable position, just leave it, save the image and uh, you are done. All right guys, so this was my very first Pixelmator tutorial. I hope you guys liked this and uh, please let me know how I did and please let me know if you guys would like more Pixelmator tutorials and if this helped you out. So play around with this tutorial. And uh, let me know what you can do with this. And uh, if this helped you out, please do do rate this video, comment on this video, and subscribe to this channel. That's it for this video, guys. This was my very first Pixelmator tutorial. Make sure you add me on Twitter, add me on iChat, and uh, become a fan of us on Facebook. And the links to all of them, including this leaf, is in the description. So go ahead and go to those links down the image, become a fan of us on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and add me on iChat. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time.